In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian, Eris and I are establishing hidden operations near the Cradle. What's your location? We're in some kind of crop field. What you see is a window into the Golden Age. Mars has returned with temporal instabilities, and Savathun's presence here is no coincidence. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding, and our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. We need you to find a way to get up there and track Savathun down. This may be our only chance to strike. The Cabal are setting up a giant cannon. I have an idea. Head inside and get me to a console. Bring me to the console. Let's see how this cannon works. I heard Savathun went into hiding thanks to the Awoken Queen, Marasal. So why is she showing herself again so soon? Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. Okay, got it. We need fuel, power, and projectile control. You'll be the projectile, of course. I know what you're thinking, but trust me. This will work. My plans always work. Let's start with opening the fuel lines. One down, Guardian. One more to go. Fuel lines open. Next up, generators. You know, if I were a god of cunning, I wouldn't show up with a giant ship. It's like saying, here I am, come kill me. Or... Maybe Savathun's waving a red flag at a bull. Maybe we're the bull. We need two override codes to get the lift moving. Only Cabal engineers carry them. Get me to that console. I'll activate the lift. Lift is active. We just have to adjust the trajectory. When I was searching for the cannon schematics, I saw marching orders from Keitel. She wants to retake Mars as Cabal territory. Not sure how she'll feel about us interfering.
Alright, the cannon is aligning. Time to reload, Guardian. Don't worry, you'll be fine. But I'll stand by to revive. Just in case. To my knowledge, no Guardian has ever been on Sabathun's ship before. Either she's inviting us aboard, or she's so weak after that encounter with Queen Mara that she's getting clumsy. I'm hoping for the latter, but I wouldn't bet on it. Ikora, we made it onto the ship, and we're seeing traces of void light. Seems like maybe another Guardian got up here first. That's impossible. Perhaps we've acted too hastily. There are too many unknowns. Savathun is the god of coming. To wait for a moment when her intentions are clear... We would wait forever. Not forever. Just until we can provide backup. Guardian, Eris and I are pinned down. If you turn back now, it'll give us more time to plan. I don't think Savathun will give us free time, Ikora. This might be our only shot. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Be careful. See that moth just now? It was glowing with light. Not corrupted light, Guardian, but light like ours. The Hive shouldn't be able to use the light against us. They shouldn't be able to use it at all. The Traveler would never grant them that power. Not willingly, anyway. This just isn't adding up. We need to find Savathun. In there, I'm picking up unusual energy readings from that statue. Let's make a quick detour. That statue doesn't look hive. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like pyramid technology. What's it doing on Savathun's ship? We should bring it back to Ikora. There are reports of Savathun trying to capture Void Light from dead Guardians. Maybe this is related. Maybe she's been studying the Void all this time. Could that be how she did this? That was Savathun. Hurry! believe this. We have to keep going. Oh, Traveler, what has she done to you? What is this place? This doesn't look like a Hive throne world. Tell me, O oh honored guest. It's her. How did you do it? 
How did you find the strength to destroy something so like yourself? Strong. That was too easy. It did seem too easy, didn't it? Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know we should have checked in, but we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Savathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights, and it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Sabathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Sabathun, nothing is impossible. Hive god of cunning and lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. 